Hey guys, this is your Tesla weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about Tropical Storm Ada that could become Hurricane Ada over the next couple of days as it impacts the Miami area, the Bahamas, and most of Cuba. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the National Hurricane Center's current forecast for Ada. They have it as a 65 mile per hour tropical storm right now. It just impacted the Cayman Islands. Tropical storm warnings are in effect for Cuba, the Bahamas, and Southern Florida. And there is a hurricane watch for Southern Florida and the Florida Keys, including the Miami area as the system has moderate potential to reach Category 1 status. The system will then stall out off the west coast of Florida, and we do not know where it will go from there. Total rainfall forecast graphic you can see here, and that whole orange swath there going from the Bahamas into southern Florida is 6 to 10 inches of rain expected. And that red area right over the Miami area is 10 to 15 inches of rain. Significant flash flooding is expected from the system. This is peak storm surge, and you can see in the Florida Keys and the Miami area, there will be two to four feet of storm surge. And as you move up the east coast of Florida towards Jacksonville, you have one to three feet of storm surge. These are tropical storm force wind speed probabilities, and you see the pink there is a 90 plus percent chance to see tropical storm force winds, and the dark green there is a five to 10 percent chance to see tropical storm force wind speeds. Intensity guidance for ADA is very consistent it is a tropical storm and a lot of models actually have it reaching low end category one status with one going into major hurricane status a category one hurricane is looking probable at this time just before a southern florida landfall with weakening expected once it reaches the gulf of mexico these are all the potential paths it could take and you can see models are pretty consistent and they these models actually have it going making a secondary landfall in central florida rather than curving into the gulf or towards the panhandle of florida these are only one set of models and this may or may not happen though confidence is increasing on potential central florida landfalls these are current sea surface temperatures in the atlantic and you can see the caribbean is very warm with widespread 29 to 30 degrees celsius waters but as you move towards florida and the bahamas those temperatures start dropping to 27 degrees celsius and below and along the immediate coast of the gulf and the southeast those can drop below 22 degrees celsius storms can still strengthen even if the waters are cooler than the average if wind shear and dry air are not affecting it. Question of the day for this video is what is your favorite drink? So comment below what your favorite drink is and I'll welcome over. That's the Chester weather forecast for upcoming tropical storm Ada that could become Hurricane Ada. Again, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.